Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and it is my great honor to be with you here today to share with you more about self-healing through service to others. Today is the 11th day of 21 days of a dedicated practice in which we do forgiveness practice and we practice to chant to serve others so that um, we can move outside of whatever is blocking ourselves. And in this consistent practice, we generate um, an opportunity to learn selflessness and to generate virtue which we all need more of. And so I invite all of those who are just tuning in for the first time to please stay and enjoy. <clears throat> Today is December 29, 2016, and um, we're very close to the end of the year. And as the end of the year moves even closer, uh, we will probably go through a few uh, purifications. Um, most of us are making some some uh, we're moving into some thoughts about what we're going to do to change everything in our new year to make everything that much better for us than maybe it has been this last year so if it's been excellent then there's always opportunity to make it even more so and if it has not been so much there's of course opportunity for change uh, i've truly enjoyed the sharing that everyone has has posted from the um, experiences that they've had and I've had people contacting me uh, you know after the show saying you know <clears throat> this has been a, a tough week but I applied the wisdom the teachings that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to humanity and taught through uh, uh, divine channels like myself and um, and that they've seen a significant difference in their lives and how things are going for them and so it's very uh, heartening, I guess is a good way to put it, to have that, um, that feedback that um, the practices are making a difference. So we've got some folks jumping in here today. <clears throat> so welcome, uh, Teresa Brown. Welcome, Petra, coming in from Europe again. Welcome, CJ, Philippines. Welcome, Lily and uh, Michelle. Good to see you, Michelle. Thank you for joining Welcome, Stephanie, coming in from the uh, Wyoming zone. Tammy, I believe Tammy, let's see, Tammy, are you Kentucky? Welcome, Linda. Welcome, Dana. Welcome, Ilona. And welcome, Anne. Anne's coming in from India early in the morning over there. <coughs> welcome, Ali and Kristen Rojas. Welcome, uh, Kristen Strachan and Yvonne. And Michelle says she's from Kentucky also. Wonderful. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Sharon. So um, <clears throat> today, this morning, I was with uh, a group of students and Divine Channels. And we were on the other side of the island. And uh, we were doing a very special spiritual practice that offers our deep gratitude to heaven. Uh, some of you may know, most of you may know, some of you may not know, that um, my spiritual teacher and father, Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha, is a world-renowned healer. And he has received the abilities to transmit uh, healer authorities to others. And so I've received healing abilities starting about eight years ago and has slowly uh, increased to the point where I'm considered a divine vehicle and channel. Uh, allowing me to serve at a very high level and to bring healing. But uh, miracles come at a cost, so to speak, in that when you offer a blessing, uh, uh, and, and many times the blessings are significant, the person's pain is immediately dissolved. Sometimes it takes a little bit because of the level of the karmic blockages that are inherent with that particular condition. <clears throat> but um, whenever any kind of a healing occurs, the reason it's effective with, uh, with the healing programs that we use uh, through this uh, Dr. and Master Shah's Divine Healing Hand Structure and, and all of the other aspects of the healing is because the um, Shen, Qi, and Jing karmic blockages are being released. And that requires a virtue. Where do you think that virtue comes from? It comes from heaven, of course. 
I don't have enough virtue to pay off somebody's spiritual debt. I don't have a million dollars to pay off your house debt. I don't have enough virtue to pay off your spiritual debt that might be causing your pain. But heaven does. And so one of the unique things about the healing services we work with is that when a healing blessing is offered, it can have extraordinary results. And but heaven's uh, bank account, if you will, their virtue account, is not limitless. Um, there is a, a lot of activity that occurs when a blessing of this nature is offered. And so there is a very special method through which that virtue is returned to heaven. And so I was at a event this morning, a very, uh, very large uh, event, that uh, was a very sacred and special opportunity to return virtue back to heaven with the deepest gratitude. Uh, and humility for the opportunity to serve so many souls and to create the possibility of miracles and help people to heal through major, major blockages. <clears throat> the wisdom and teachings that Dr. Master Shah brings to humanity is that love and forgiveness can transform every aspect of your life. It's a very, very, um, it's obvious, but it's like saying, um, it's like saying love yourself, right? What does that mean? It's, 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 it's how do you put your finger on what love yourself means? You know, it's the root cause of almost all of our problems, but how do you actually love yourself? And it's the same thing when you say love and forgiveness uh, is, is the uh, solution for all problems. But it actually is. And one of the unique things about Dr. and Master Shah is he shows you exactly how to apply love and forgiveness through all of his practices. And one of the reasons he does that is because he knows that he won't be here forever to just clear our blockages for us. And even the students that he's empowered to do so, they won't be here forever either. And so there needs to be something that is long lasting and something that stays, something that we can hold on to and apply ourselves through the entirety of our life. So no matter where we're at, no matter if we're with our children, or our grandparents or, or our family friends, we always have that tool of love and forgiveness and the very special uh, approaches and practices that he brings that when we apply them they can make a significant difference so i bow my head to my spiritual teacher and father for that incredible wisdom that and he gives of course god the the um, the credit for that you can see my hair is probably a little bit weird i just noticed that i just came home from the from the uh, special session and threw on this shirt and Put some water on my hair so if i don't look uh ready oh well do the best i can so welcome michelle from kentucky you say great uh welcome julie welcome Teresa, also from kentucky i knew that i knew that uh is either Teresa or or uh or uh, one other person on here but i'm getting it down lily and welcome jenny brown so thank you all so much for hitting the share button letting other people know about uh, this opportunity for self-healing. Um, it might end up on a friend of a friend's timeline and they receive an awakening that their soul has been screaming for. So thank you for that sharing. So let us all connect heart to heart, soul to soul before we move into today's uh, blessing, healing and practice. I will invite the divine healing hands. <coughs> I will, waiting for the system to catch up. Okay. I will to the divine healing hands healers to offer healing blessings today so the system is skipping a little bit okay good and so you will receive some blessings also from the divine healing hands healers and of course through the practices that we are doing so we sit, place our hands in soul light soul service hand position which is much like a, a prayer position we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains gently pointed to heaven close your eyes let us fully connect. Dear beloved divine, dear the Tao to the source, original creator, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including angels, healing angels, and archangels, all lamas, all sifus, gurus, saints, saints, animals, all temples, temple souls, all beings of light, of the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, and the light side stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. To the soul of beloved Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, Namo Amitofu, Shakyamuni Fo, Medicine Buddha, Happy Buddha, uh, uh, Mani Buddha, Kuan Yin, Dasher Pusa, beloved Krishna, beloved Ganesha, 
and all other holy beings, mention and unmention. We love you all, honor you, appreciate you, and I bow down to you. We invite you to be, be please be present today to come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us to fully open and develop our heart and our message center. Bless us to align our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies to our original cause for coming into this incarnation. Bless us to release our blockages of the lacks of love and forgiveness that we can sometimes hold on to. Bless us to be a service more and more and be more and more selfless instead of selfish. We are very, very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Did the soul of love, peace, and harmony source soul song transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, respect you, appreciate you, bow down to you. Please turn on, please uh, chant with us as we offer our service, uh, as we connect heart to heart, soul to soul. And we invite all souls in all universes to please join us at this time. So let us chant love, peace, and harmony for those that are new. Please enjoy and receive this uh, chanting blessing. We'll do a couple rounds and then we'll continue. Keep your eyes closed. Feel the love, send the love. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so how is a Mandarin Chinese word that means perfect, complete, get well. And the first thank you is to the divine. The second thank you is to all of the holy beings that we've invited in that have chosen to come and stay in service. And the third thank you is to our own soul. So just prior to starting, I ask for heaven's guidance. And I ask... Um, what should be my focus today to serve all of those that, that come to watch? And what I heard was that 
Yes, love and forgiveness are important, but one of the reasons why people are not able to go to any depth of love and forgiveness is because of blockages in the heart center, in the message center. In Dr. Master Shah's teaching, instead of seven chakras, he calls it seven soul houses. And he goes into great detail, great and depthful explanation uh, regarding the purpose and significance of each soul house, its interactivity, amongst each other soul house, its connectivity to our organs and systems, how to open, bless, and expand each of the soul houses, and um, what happens when you do. And he explains that each of the seven soul houses uh, carry karmic blockages, that they all have significant uh, areas of karmic blockage associated with each of the seven chakras, or in his teaching, soul houses. So it's really empowering to have a spiritual teacher and father that is so open and willing to share, you know, uh, heaven's secrets, so to speak, the deep, deep secrets that are usually only shared with a student after he studies with the master for many, many years. And these can be found, for example, the, one of the best sources is the Tao Song, Tao Dance uh, book that came out. It's audio book and book. Um, I think the book is a better choice than the audio book, although the audio book's great to listen to when you're driving and whatnot, and you get a double absorption. I think the book is better because it gives you a chance to stop and do the practices. It has a, 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 a CD in the back, which has... Uh, a specific mantra chanting that assists you to open your seven soul houses and, and, and different energy centers. And um, it's just overall a, a one of the best all-in-one sources of the wisdom and teachings that Dr. and Master Shah brings. So anyway, today I wanted to focus on the message center, the heart center, because uh, we all have blockages. Michelle says, I'm super blocked. Well, guess what? Uh, if somebody doesn't raise their hand that they're blocked here, then they're lying because we're all blocked. You know, I might have the name master in front of my name, but got lots and lots and lots and lots of blockages in here too. So we all have uh, an endless supply of opportunity to clear more and more blockages. Um, none of us are perfect uh, and it's pretty evident if we're here. And so there's simply opportunity around every moment, around every corner, to, to clear the blockages and purify a little bit more. Now, for those also that are new, the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony that we just chanted, um, it is a, a song that is uh, free for humanity. The copyright has been removed. It's in over 50 languages, 28 of which are on the PDF that Kristen has posted in the chat boxes. And you can download the music for free also. Just look for the link that uh, our universal student and servant uh, Kristen has posted in the chat boxes. So we're going to use um, uh, probably at least one mantra and maybe two different mantras to help open the heart center. I'll do a brief teaching on it. So the message center is <coughs> a fist-sized energy center. So uh, if you put your fist up, you'll see that your fist has a different size than mine. And it sits inside just behind the chest plate, roughly between the two nipples, about two inches inside the body. And this energy center is one of the most important energy centers for the entire uh, human vessel. It is the karma center. It is the soul communication center. Uh, those that have third eye, those that have direct knowing, those that have soul communication abilities, one of the reasons why is because the heart center is open. It's a portal through which heaven communicates. Uh, it's also our, one of our uh, areas where finances and financial blockages uh, reside. It's our uh, love, light, forgiveness, and compassion center. And it's also a center where we keep a lot of relationship blockages. So if any of those areas of your life feel a bit out of balance, then there's a high probability there's a connectivity here to blockages in the message center. And so we're going to chant for uh, serving all of those of humanity that have blockages in their message center. Now remember, it's very, very important. You do not heal others. You do not offer your energy or healing to others. You could irritate something that doesn't want those others to receive healing. We simply chant as appropriate, uh, whatever our mantra is that we're chanting. Uh, and if it blesses others, that's up to that mantra. It's up to the, uh, um, the light beings that are present. We are simply 
wanting to serve unconditionally with no attachment to the result and with no uh, um, forcing on our own. Okay, it's very important that any time you offer service, you, you always offer it free of ego, you never force it, and you always, always, always say as appropriate. Okay, and so as we do this to, to chant for others, what is a natural occurrence is those souls that have closed heart centers, they will be so very grateful and they will return that gratitude in the form of virtue. Heaven will be grateful that we're moving outside of our own selfishness to serve others. And so this is a, a secret, uh, it's a sacred secret of um, chanting to serve others uh, can bring healing to ourselves. And so let us do this first by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul. And we're gonna do a forgiveness practice for ourselves, for all of our blockages potentially that we have. This will be a long forgiveness practice. <laughs> I might go a little deep into it. Um, and you know, it's not to be taken personally if some of it hits, you, hits the nail on the head. Just kind of go with it because it's mostly about, um, we want to be able to release the blockages, okay? All right, so we place our hands again in soul light, soul service hand position. We drop our left hand in front of our heart center. The right hand remains gently pointed upwards towards heaven. Close your eyes. And repeat after me. Dear beloved divine and thou and the source, original creator, my name is, state your name three times. Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. It is my highest and greatest honor to receive any of the blessings that you wish to offer me today. I wish to ask forgiveness. Dear all souls in all universes, all souls on Mother Earth, my name is, state your name, I wish to deeply and sincerely apologize on behalf of myself and my ancestors if in this or any lifetime I have brought harm or suffering to you. If I or my ancestors have caused you to close your heart because of our greed, corruption, gossip, if I or my ancestors have made vows of love to you and broken our vows, caused you to close your heart. If we have created trust and then broken that trust, truly from the bottom of my heart, I deeply, deeply and sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors have ever lied to you, manipulated you, caused you to believe and then lose your trust, your love, your happiness, and therefore close your heart. Truly, I deeply and sincerely apologize. To all of the souls in all lifetimes, in all the relationships I've ever had, as a mother or father to my children, if I have ever spoken down to you, communicated to you in such a way that you were not feeling safe to keep your heart open and have a loving, open-hearted conversation with me, if I ever abused you, physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually, causing you to close your heart. If I've, I or my ancestors have ever taught you wrong teachings about what love is and what love is not, about what is a healthy relationship or what a healthy relationship is not, about who is good for you and who is not good for you, if any teachings have ever come out of my mouth that has steered you in a way that is not towards love, and, and it, as a result caused you to close your heart, 
may deeply and sincerely, sincerely apologize. If in any lifetime I had been a spiritual teacher of any level and have taken you away from the light, away from compassion, if I have taken you away from service, if I have taught you the opposite of gratitude, if I have made comments, thoughts, words, or actions that showed you that it was okay to be disharmonious, I truly am deeply regretful for these kinds of actions. The person I am today would not make choices of this nature, would not say these kinds of very, very harmful things. I wish very much to open my heart so much more than it currently is. To my beloved family members in this lifetime and in all lifetimes, if I have ever been disrespectful to you, communicated with you in any form that was not loving or honoring, if I in this or any lifetime made myself seem superior and above the law, so to speak, if my ego caused you to feel unheard, unloved, and closed your heart, I ask sincerely for your forgiveness. I am learning and have learned many lessons and wish very much to open my heart more. And I deeply and sincerely apologize. Dear the soul of my mother and father from this lifetime and my mother and father from other lifetimes, I love you. Please forgive me for judgments and criticisms, for blaming you, making you the one that was victimizing me, talking bad about you, creating judgments or criticisms about your actions towards me. Please forgive me for not seeing that the ways you have been towards me in this lifetime and in any lifetime has been the best you could do given your own karmic blockages. Please forgive me for not seeing clearly that you were just doing the best you could with your heart not being fully open. Dear my own soul, please forgive me for not aligning my thoughts, words, and actions to you on a daily basis, for not connecting to you more every day, for not listening to you and your intuitional communications to me, for not following your consistent guidance more and better. Please forgive me for all the troubles that I may have caused you and I from previous lifetime wrong choices. Please bless me today to open my heart, to open my soul more. I invite all of the souls that I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to in all lifetimes, especially those souls that I have caused to close their heart, to please chant with me at this time. Feel my love. I'm very grateful. And so now we have completed this forgiveness, and now we will chant to serve others. So continue to repeat, dear all the souls, of my heart center, 
of my organs and systems, cells, cell units, RNA and DNA, the souls of my energy centers, chakra points. I love you. As I chant, could you please chant to serve others, others in humanity that have a need to open their heart more. Dear heaven, Tao and source, all of the holy beings that have been called forth, all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, all angels, healing angels, archangels, all heaven's animals, I love you all. As appropriate, could you please assist in the offering of a blessing to open others' hearts of humanity that we could all return to oneness and to love i am very very grateful thank you thank you thank you so we're going to do a, a mantra first to open our heart center and then we'll we'll chant love peace and harmony as a service so maintaining our hands in the soul light soul service hand position we're going to chant da i d a a i Da is greatest. I is a Mandarin Chinese word that means love, greatest love. With your eyes closed, visualizing the greatest love permeating humanity's hearts. Let us begin. Da, I, da, I. Da, I, da, I. Da, I, da, I, da, I, da, I, da, I, da, I. And I will trace this very special calligraphy, da, I calligraphy, to serve all of you to serve humanity as appropriate. Continue to chant. Da I 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 Da I, da, I, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love greatest love da i da i da i da i da i da Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. Now I'm going to ask all those that have divine healing hands that are watching at this time to turn on your divine healing hands we're going to offer it only to those that are watching the live video of course always as appropriate and this will be for opening the heart as appropriate so take this time to please turn on your divine healing hands if you're a divine healing hand soul healer 
There may be others online that have uh, healing uh, abilities. Um, it's up to you, but my, my request is to not uh, use your healing abilities at this time. The reason why is the Divine Healing Hands healing transmission comes with a very a real light wall protection. And so it, we, those who have it have zero risk. Um, but you, have, you might be a, a very, very good healer, but if you do not have the light wall protection, um, you know, I don't want you to, to have any side effect. So continue to chant, Divine Healing Hands Healers, prepare. Da I 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 Divine Healing Hands Blessing, as appropriate for everyone watching this video, for opening the message center. Blessing begin. Divine Healing Hands opens our message centers. Divine Healing Hands Open our message centers, divine healing hands. Open our message centers. All those that are receiving, just happily receive. Continue to chant silently to serve others. Divine healing hands. Open our message centers, divine healing hands. Open our message centers, <coughs> divine healing hands. Open our message centers, divine healing hands. Open our message centers, divine healing hands. Open our message centers, divine healing hands. Open our message centers. Divine healing hands, open our message centers. Divine healing hands, open our message centers. Divine healing hands, open our message centers. Divine Healing Hands releases blockages to love. 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 Divine healing hands blesses my forgiveness. Divine healing hands 
Bless is my forgiveness, divine healing hands. Divest is my forgiveness, divine healing hands. Bless is my forgiveness, divine healing hands. Bless is my forgiveness. Last round. Divine healing hands. Bless is everyone's forgiveness. <coughs> Divine healing hands. Bless is everyone's forgiveness. Divine healing hands. Bless is everyone's forgiveness. Divine healing hands. Bless is everyone's forgiveness. How, how, how? Divine healing hands, heal, heal, uh, healers, please ask your treasure to return. Now we will all chant love, peace, and harmony to bless humanity, to open their hearts. They're all humanity, all souls. Please open your heart. We invite you to chant with us at this time with all of our love. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Oh, I wash in hurling. Oh, I trod ran lay. One ling run her musher shang. Shang I ping on a she. Shang I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I trod ran lay. Wang li hing rung her musher shung. Shong I ping on her she. Shong I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula. La li lu la, lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la. Why wash in her ling? Why trod ran lay on the hill? Her musher shang. Shong I ping on her she. 
Shong I Ping on Shi Last Round Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Wo I wash in the ring Wo I trod ran lay Wong li hing rung Her musher shung Shuang I ping on her she Shuang I ping on her she I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, divine Tao and Source, Creator. Thank you, all beings of light. Who have come thank you to all of the souls that have came for our forgiveness practice that forgave us that chanted along with us that saw that our heart has learned its lessons thank you for releasing your karmic blockages that have kept our heart centers so closed for so long thank you for the incredible opportunity to understand this very simple repeatable practice dr. and master Shah thank you for bringing this wisdom to humanity at this most important time thank you thank you thank you to divine healing hands and the divine healing hands transmission for your incredible service I'm going to offer a soul reading at this time as to what happened for us in this last 30 minutes of blessings <coughs> Dear Heaven, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Yan Monye, could you please offer uh, some wisdom and insights as to what transpired in this last 30 minutes of blessings? For, uh, as a generalized statement for all of us, thank you. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey. This is Yan Wan Ye. You truly made my uh, universal servants in heaven exceptionally busy with this practice today when you call forth all humanity all souls in all universes the impossibility of them fitting in one space is present there was so much virtue being exchanged in both directions from those who are receiving back to those who are giving and those who are giving saying no thank you I wish to return it because that was the most humble thing to say there is many secrets revealed in just this statement ponder on that for each of those chanting here today in this 30 minutes the amount of clearing that could have been accomplished on your own by doing this chanting by yourself if you used the same mantra by yourself of da i it would have taken you approximately 30 hours of chanting to have accomplished what was accomplished in this 30 minute period of time 
in this group environment with the divine healing hands, with a divine channel, and with the calling forth of all layers of the divine Tao and Source. Hence the necessity to do practice in group because the calling power is dramatically higher and the virtue exchange is dramatically more. For one person in this group, there was a significant blessing. There was one that was significantly depressed to the point where they were considering taking their life. This had been occurring more than once for them over this holiday period, and this blessing removed the amount of darkness that would have caused them to move from considering it to actually doing it. That has not been completely removed. However, this person should consider the healing and transmission system, which would include the karma cleansing for their message center and a light wall protection this condition of wanting to take their life would be most thoroughly removed for the rest of those that were chanting the amount of virtue deposited as indicated would have taken you over 30 hours of chanting and for the average human being that would have been approximately a half a year of practice. You are all very blessed on this day. This is Yen Wan Ye, leader of the Akashic Records. How, 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 thank you, Yen Wan Ye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so um, thank you for the comments. Um, Angela Hart says, wow, and I saw your uh, comment, Angela. I think you said you were coming in from the UK or Europe. And Michelle, I know it's your first time trying hard to follow. <laughs> Completely understand that. Um, just continue to come back. Uh, pick up a book uh, about Dr. and Master Shah. Uh, Dao Song Dao Dance is an excellent one. Soul Healing Miracles is a good one. Um, plenty of information about, about this teacher uh, on the net. Lots of YouTube videos that you can learn more with. Um, and you can also learn from my website, which is uh, asoulhealer.com. A soul like everyone has a soul a soul healer .com. so um today was actually very very powerful uh, yen wan ye even though he was he was telling me uh telling all of us what what had transpired there was there were so many holy beings present my goodness jesus was sitting with all of us blessing us buddha was blessing us there were countless angels there was the, the the heavens animals were so present with all of us dragons and all kinds of heavens animals they were just all throughout our bodies clearing blockages they were very busy around the planet blessing everybody the amount of blessings that were coming were extraordinary and and so we need to be very grateful for the opportunities to to be able to connect with heaven in such a powerful way. And I bow my head again to my spiritual teacher and father for giving me the abilities and, and opportunities to ask for heaven's assistance in this way. Um, so tomorrow will be day 12 of the 21 days of, of practice. Um, the Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu uh, will be initiating a full-fledged uh, professional version of the 21 day challenge which will be a much more expanded version of what we've been doing for those that are newer uh, two five minute forgiveness practices a day around a specific condition of your choice and um, uh, two chanting of love peace and harmony for 15 minutes like what we just did chanting love peace and harmony to serve others so again for those that are new if you have neck pain depression whatever your condition is you chant love peace and harmony to serve others others with that same condition twice a day you do that and um, uh, the words for love peace and harmony and the mantra and all that is it's listed through the chat boxes Kristen has been kind enough to post that for all of us <coughs> um, and so I encourage all of you to continue with day uh, day 12 through 21 with me and it's it's just going to continue to clear the blockages in our heart and everywhere else that is inhibiting us from re reaching the level of health, the level of emotional uh, health that we desire, 
uh, the level of mental health that we desire. And of course, it will, it will align us to our soul and its desire on this, on this journey. Um, continue to come, continue to do the practice. And as we move into um, uh, the, the, the actual 21 day challenge uh, through the center, then I will give you more information uh, about the registration for that. Okay. Um, so Cheryl says, uh, uh, wow, that was amazing. I'm deeply honored and grateful for the services. You're very welcome. Michelle says, I can see them in my head far, far back as the eye can see. Yeah, millions, millions of saints and, and just everyone. Um, Elaine says, thank you. You're very welcome. Angela's from the UK. Okay. Uh, um, and Johannes, good to see you. Johannes came in a little late. I suggest to those who just came in to please watch, watch anew. Um, there was quite a bit going on and a lot of blessings. Uh, Nina says, I had my turtle for 12 years after Rocky and my turtle died. I feel very sad. Any advice? Um, chant for, chant for uh, the release of the grief and sadness, Nina. So grief and sadness tends to reside in our emotional body. It's associated with our heart center and our lungs. And so as you chant to serve others, ask to serve them for the sadness and grief that they might have experienced by the loss of a loved one and a loss of a loved pet. Okay, and by chanting to serve others, it'll help release your uh, your blockages. CJ says, thank you so much. Every day is always amazing for me. I saw beloved Mother Mary right away in front of me, extending her hand for me. Love it so much. Thank you, Mother Mary, for coming in, our, in your service. Rest assured that Mother Mary was with all of us as well. Um, Teresa, can you explain the meaning again why when we start uh, chanting, uh, lots of yawns, laugh out loud, just curious. Um, let me see what what guidance says. Yeah, it's just frequency. It's just the shifting of the frequency. It's becoming so high that, I mean, I was towards the end of this, I was nodding off. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it, the frequency was so high towards the end of this, I had to, to force my eyes to stay open. So it's just frequency. Um, Elaine says she will chant. She has the book and CD and she'll chant twice a day. Great job. And Nina says she'll feel better with the service. Kamasha, sorry I didn't see you coming earlier. Hopefully you got to see some of this. Um, if not, I, I encourage you to watch the whole thing. It'll be a recording in just a few minutes. Dana, the message center was truly blessed. I agree. We were all very blessed. And Stephanie says thank you much for this deep and powerful practice. You guys are awesome. Just so awesome. Love communicating with all of you. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. If you have loved ones, friends, or family that you know could benefit from just being present to this, then after we're done, all you do is, uh, once it becomes a video, which takes a few minutes, just put your cursor right on top of the image uh, and right click. And one of the choices is copy the URL. And you can drop it into their email. You can drop it into any way you want to communicate with them and just say, Hey, check this out. Maybe it'll help you through that condition that's going on for you. Um, and you never know when you can save somebody's life through uh, these simple practices. So I'm very grateful for all of you and your sharing. Truly appreciate that. Uh, for those that are new, if you enjoy this, you want to know when I go live, uh, there's a subscribe button somewhere in the upper corner of this video or it'll show up now or shortly after. I've not been on that side, so I don't know exactly where it's at, but look around for it. Um, there is a special blessing being offered for anyone that's interesting. It's called a crown chakra blessing. Uh, and it is a two minute blessing in which heaven opens up. Uh, it can be done remotely, of course. And it literally comes in through the crown of your chakra, clears the blockages for your specific uh, physical, emotion, mental, spiritual condition. And I made a suggestion yesterday for those that as we move into the new year, we typically have a one area of challenge that we would like to break through our new year's resolution, so to speak. It might be smoking, it might be an addiction, it might be uh, a desire to overcome anger, who knows what it is, right? Everyone's got their own stuff. But a crown chakra blessing recognizes that the reason we have that stuff is because of our karmic blockages. And it facilitates the clearing of lifetimes of blockages and potentially the entirety of this lifetime that it might take you to clear it out. It clears it out so much faster to where you're no longer pushing that big rock up the hill. It becomes a little pebble after that that you're trying to move along. And so if that's of interest to you, you can learn more about it at my website, asoulhealer.com. I list what they are, how they work, and 
the honor fees for these blessings. Uh, there is still until the end of the month a blessing that includes the, um, the soul operation uh, and the uh, additional blessing beyond that using my master healer teacher healer soul. And those are normally combined 75 each for a total of 150 and those are now half off uh, through the end of uh, the, the new year. So um, please let me know if that's of interest to you. I love you all so very much. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Thank you for your sharing. Until then, love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the holy beings who have come. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Respect for the return. Bye-bye, everybody. Cheers.